This is the Bluetooth speaker circuit laid out on a bit of plywood so that you can uh, see how the wiring all goes together and what components are required. So most of the components come from AliExpress, ordered online, and except for the, the batteries, they're just a uh, power pack. So a portable charger for your phone from Kmart or stores like that. That one was $5. You just pull them apart and the insides look like this. And that gives us our battery and our charge controller and our cable here, our micro USB cable. We just cut this cable apart to uh, change the circuit to suit our needs. So in a circuit with a battery, we have a positive and a negative. Just be careful not to short them out. You notice here I've got some uninsulated wires. That's negative and that's positive. I've just left them like that so you can see how the wires join together. When you make your own circuit, you'll want to insulate that with some insulation tape or put some heat shrink on the wire and then uh, shrink it to insulate the bare wires once you've got them soldered together. I've got two 8 ohm 5 watt speakers. In a previous video I showed you how to, to solder the wiring on to the speakers. So they come from AliExpress, this wiring with the plugs comes from AliExpress. The switch, this micro USB charge cable and the LEDs. The LED is just an indicator that the circuit is on. So we have a LED flashing here that also indicates the circuit's on, but when it's inside the Bluetooth speaker box, you can't see that. So that's why I've included the LED here. So on our circuit board, there's a switch. Need to make sure that is in the off position for this circuit to work properly. So the purpose of the switch is just to isolate the battery power from the rest of the circuit. We turn the switch on, power comes in from the positive side of the battery through the switch, down our USB cable to our Bluetooth circuit board and powers up the board. A negative wire goes from the battery to our charge controller to our circuit board and to our LED. See, it's a pretty basic circuit. On our LED, when you're soldering your LED onto your wire, there is a long leg and a short leg. The short leg is negative, so it'll be the black wire. The long one is positive, so that will be a red wire. So on this circuit, the red wires are all positive and the black wires are all negative. Also on this circuit board I've put dimensions, so sizes. The battery 70 millimeters long by 19 millimeters wide. Um, so our circuit board 70 millimeters long by 40 millimeters wide. So I've put all that on there so that when you're doing your design you can work out where you're going to fit everything, how it's all going to fit together. Make sure you've got enough space to fit all the components. Just make sure that you don't put them so close together that we start shorting circuits out by putting negative up against positive. It's pretty dangerous with these batteries. They can overheat and explode. You can melt down wiring, uh, short out your circuit board and make it inoperable. So make sure everything's well insulated. I've put in the diameters of things. So the switch is 20 millimeters. This circle with a line through it means diameter. So you need to drill a, a 20 millimeter hole to press the switch in. Uh, LED is five millimeters in diameter. So if you drill a hole slightly smaller than five millimeters, you'll be able to be, just press the LED into the, into the hole to hold it there so you don't have to glue it into place. So hopefully that's enough information. Put the video on pause and study the, the circuit and all the other specifications that I've put on there to help you to design your Bluetooth speaker.